turn it over here. Let's do a little dedicating. Good morning. Um, my name is Steve Rogers. I'm the town manager for the town of Yountville, and it's indeed my pleasure to welcome you all to Yountville on this very, very special day. In life, some things are meant to be, as they say. Whether one chooses to call it fate, destiny, fortune, providence, divine intervention, good fortune, or even just luck. Whatever you choose to call it, it brought together a diverse group of people who individually really had nothing in common. But collectively, they became united and shared in a vision of supporting art and in particular of supporting the arts in Yountville by bringing this fantastic sculpture, Chaos Pamplona by Jed Novat to Yountville. Today's event is a celebration of the spirit, movement, and most importantly, the people whose hard work, support, and dedication we all see in the proof here today. Today's program will introduce and share with you the many peoples whose path serendipitously came together and created, and I'm pleased to say, a little chaos in the process. And indeed, it's now my pleasure to introduce John Dunbar, Mayor of Yountville. Thank you everyone and thank you all for being here today. And also I'd like to thank all of you for supporting the cultural arts here in Yountville and throughout the Napa Valley. I'd like to recognize first of all the rest of the Yountville Town Council, Vice Mayor Lewis Chilton and Council Members Margie Moeller, Marita Dornbecker and Richard Hall. If uh, those of you that are here could please just stand. 
The town council uh, embraced this opportunity when it was uh, presented to us to have such a wonderful gift be part of our community here in Yonville. The effort to bring Chaos Pamplona here took a truly unique partnership with an internationally renowned artist, Jed Novat, the incredible generosity of a true lover and supporter of art, Mary Spencer, a committed and hardworking group of local residents, our Yountville Arts Committee, our overachieving town manager, Steve Rogers, Parks and Recreation Director, Samantha Holland Wagner, our Public Works and Parks and Rec staff, many of whom are still setting up for uh, refreshments later today, and a group of local citizens and businesses, the Gasser Foundation and the Napa Valley Tourism Improvement District, whose combined financial support made this all happen. I'd like to give a special thank you to Michael Polinski and Masonry Napa Valley for introducing this opportunity and for advising us and facilitating this entire process. So thank you very much, Michael. Also, thanks to Les Allspach and Sean Grinnell of Pound Management Incorporated for their expert logistical and project management. And I did see Les here earlier uh, back there. And thank you, Les and Sean. We all uh, have learned a great deal what it takes to bring a sculpture this size from Spain to Yonville, California. It's quite, it was quite a learning experience. You'll also be hearing from each member of our Yonville Arts Committee but I would like to acknowledge the passion and the energy shared with our community every day by Dr. Judith Caldwell, Rhonda Scherer, Kimberly Cook, and Rob Wenneberg. And if I could please ask them all to stand. Thank you all very much. One thing all of these contributors have in common is a desire to provide a memorable art experience for our residents and our visitors. Chaos Pamplona represents a major step forward in that effort. And the person whose generosity made this all happen is Mary Spencer. Mary? Good morning. What a thrill it is to stand here in the shadow of Chaos Pamplona and know that it will be keeping watch for years to come in the memory of my husband, Sash Spencer. Sash and I were first introduced to Napa Valley in the late 70s by my late brother Jim uh, and his wife Elizabeth, who's with us today. Uh, we developed in those early years a fond appreciation for great California wines and the great food of Napa. Our memories encompass a score of good times, just a few, including descending on Oakville Market like a swarm of locusts, <laughs> and visiting the many uh, early wineries and tasting their wonderful wines. Uh, we, one, uh, at one of those wineries, we actually wheedled uh, John Schaefer out of the last six bottles of one of his prize-winning years. <laughs> and of course, eating at the many wonderful restaurants in the Napa Valley. <clears throat> That's why we selected Yountville when Michael Polensky suggested it to Jed Novat and me. I want to thank uh, John uh, Dunbar, the mayor, uh, Steve Rogers, the Arts Committee, and all the townspeople who committed enthusiastically to this project and raised the funds necessary to bring Chaos Pamplona from Spain. It was not easy, and Jed and I appreciate your commitment. I also want to thank my family and friends who are with me today, and of course, Jed Novat, for creating this magnificent sculpture. May Chaos Pamplona stand as a beacon to the memory of my husband, Sash, and the hospitality of the people of Yountville. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Judith Caldwell to share her thoughts and to describe the evolution and the journey Chaos Pamplona took 
to arrive here in Yonville? In the words of Leonardo da Vinci, as taken directly from his notebooks, one of the functions of art is undoubtedly to allow us to escape from the narrowness of our own vision and discover something of the breadth and depth and beauty and wholeness of life itself. The scope and definition of public art applies to works that have been created for exhibition in a public space that is accessible to everyone. Throughout the ages, people have recognized, admired, and appreciated public art, from Michelangelo's statue of David in the Galleria dell'Accademia in Florence to Calder's contemporary sculpture in Chicago. Such magnificent art brings a sense of aesthetic wonder and grandeur. The genius of the master artists who created them demonstrates humankind's need and capacity to create art with decorative flair. Yontville now has its own masterpiece, as brilliant as any masterpiece of past centuries. Our new and extraordinary contemporary sculpture by Jed Novat, the charming and personable gentleman and artistic genius whose impeccably creative nature gave this sculpture its birth. The name Chaos Pamplona is part of the series of works that Jed has been making in his studio in Spain, and the title represents many things. Jed gives credit to Mary and to our town of Yontville. What Mary's graciousness has done in memory of her beloved husband, and what Yontville has done allows Chaos Pamplona to live in our home forever. Jed Novat's museum piece will be integrated into our community on this spot for decades and forevermore into our future. And this particular site could not be more perfect. It suits our community's landscape and architecture. The view corridor serves as a natural backdrop and incorporates it directly into Mother Nature's environment. Chaos Pamplona organically reacts to the out of doors just as we will naturally react to it. We can see through it and beyond it from all sides. We can watch it dance with the sunlight and sing in the windy breeze. Chaos is open enough to allow each of us to admire the mountains behind it, the trees around it, and the flowering plants at its base. Built from incredibly strong material, its majesty uplifts our vision to the heavens above it, and its strength grounds us even more strongly to the earth below it. We welcome, respect, and admire it as a new brother or sister. Each time any of us walks or drives by chaos, we will see it. Whether we think about it or not, it will still become a familiar part of our community. And as it draws us, welcomes us, and beckons us to look a little more closely each time with a different perspective, we will grow to love it more and befriend it a little more deeply just as we do with each other as people. Chaos is now an integrated part of our community and part of our family, and so are Jed Novat and Mary Spencer. Chaos Pamplona will provide an interesting topic of conversation. There is no doubt that will attract attention and heighten awareness. It has already enlivened and energized this space and these people. 
it will continue to arouse our thinking. Throughout history, art has been challenged, defended, supported, and appreciated in a variety of ways by individual thinkers and groups. Nearly a year ago, when Michael Polensky had approached Steve Rogers and myself about chaos, he also mentioned that shipping costs from Spain would be about $50,000. My reply was that Yontville Arts only had a budget of $273.68 at that time. But knowing that it was our absolute duty to import chaos from Spain, we began to break open our piggy banks, purses, and wallets, and ask family members, friends, neighbors, and foundations for help. Sure enough, in a matter of months, Yontville Arts managed to raise $60,000. What an amazing team we have. In fact, we hit a home run without stealing a single base or dollar or striking out once at home plate. With the importation of chaos, Yonfell has just signed with the major leagues. Yeah. And we did it together. We are so happy about this because everyone has won a major victory for the arts in the entire Napa Valley with Mary Spencer and Jed Novat as our MVPs or most valuable players. I suppose that the permanent acquisition of Chaos Pamplona is a true symbolic representation of Yontville's maturity. On Monday of this week, we watched the arrival of Chaos. It was delivered in a huge wooden crate. We watched as the box was cut apart and removed completely. Children and adults observed the process and stood guard for hours. From 10.30 in the morning we were there until about 4 in the afternoon, as though we were actually witnessing and supporting the birth of a baby in a delivery room. It was exciting. It was nerve-wracking. It was amazing. And finally, the crane and half a dozen people did their job. And chaos was released to Yontville, its new motherland. On that same Monday evening at 9 p.m., a small dozen of us gathered right here again to check the subtle lighting of chaos against the darkened night sky. We wanted to be sure that our new baby would sleep well that night and that we would too. We pledge to cherish and care for our new sculpture, always, dear Mary and Jed. May this be the only chaos that Yontville will ever see. Jed and Mary, we thank you very much from the bottom of our grassroots hearts. We love you very much and invite you to visit us in Yontville again and again this is now your new home away from home. It gives me indescribable pleasure to now introduce you to Mr. Jed Novat, the delightful artist of Chaos Pamplona. I had a little biking incident yesterday, so I'm afraid even to walk over the grass. Uh, my son, in fact, said to me, said, you know, Dad, you have a 20-foot piece of sculpture and you needed more attention, and so I, I really have him to thank. Uh, I think this project, you know, basically starts with a true patron of the arts, uh, which originated with Sash Spencer about 1989, when uh, through another collector I met Sash in New York, and it began a process of Sash collecting my work with Mary that has led to these ongoing projects. And Mary continued the process by commissioning monumental works, which she then decided she would gift to institutions, and in this case, to the wonderful town of Yonville. And I think 
Interestingly, I'm, I'm sort of the least important person here by far. It's really about the patron and the town of Yonville coming together with people like Judith, who is here, <laughs> uh, who's worked so hard. And the story begins, though, of course, with, with Sash and Mary, but then it goes to, to Tim Jeffries, who's my dealer, who's in from London. Tim, would you stand up for a second, wherever you are? Tim, <laughs> Tim uh, said to me one day, there's a, a, a friends that are coming down to Paris, and I'd love you to meet them. And it was Michael Polanski and Kim. Michael and Kim, would you stand up, please? So, Michael, you can't sit down so quick. Michael Polanski took this and has worked endlessly from the beginning to end to bring this project to the town of Yonfil. And as he's a, you know, obviously part of this community with Masonry, which is a wonderful place, by the way, if you don't know it, he decided that he would devote hundreds of hours to making this project work. And so Michael's tireless effort, and obviously with all the Arts Committee, all the people, Mayor Dunbar, everybody involved, it's, it's obviously come to you know, fruition. But uh, I think the point being is that there are many patrons in this whole process, and obviously in the end, the town of Yonville. Obviously, as the artist, I'm, I'm beyond honored that you have a work of mine in your town, and I hope, if anything, it's, you know, it serves in some sense as a sentinel for all good things. And just stay off bicycles. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you all once again. What we are going to do now, if I could please ask Mary, Jed, uh, Judith to come join me up at, the, uh, at Chaos. We're going to formally cut the ribbon and I'll also tell you, just because uh, most of you won't be able to see it, we have a special memento both for Mary and for Jed to take home with them. Uh, it's, a, it's a key to the city. Even though we never lock our doors here in Yonville, it's always open and you're always welcome, but we do have a little something for you to take home with you. Uh, it's not very much of a fair trade. You can put this in your carry-on, but um, thank you again. And so we are gonna step over here and uh, do the ribbon cutting. Um, and feel free to come share the moment with us. Let me know when you're okay. <laughs> Good to go. Great. Would you please do the honors for us? And I can uh, hold these. Somebody can hold the honors for us. Sure. So then I hold it. If you'd like, I can hold it. like to invite members of our Yonville Arts Committee to step forward and acknowledge our donors and our sponsors. First, please, Rob Winterberg. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. We just want to acknowledge some of our donors today. I want to acknowledge the Peter A. and Vernice H. Gasser Foundation, the Napa Valley Tours Improvement District, Hotels and Ends of Yauntville, Neil and Karen Alderadi, Napa Valley Destination Council, Michael Polensky and Masonry, Judith and Jay Caldwell, Pound Management Incorporation, without them, there's no way we would have figured out how to get this thing all the way here. Um, uh, Casa Piena, Gale and Carmen Policy, Red Mare Vineyards, please do try some of their wine. It's going to be out here on the street right afterwards. Uh, Jim and Terry Striegel, Greg and Le uh, Leslie Misiek Misiko. I'm sorry about the name on that one. All right, uh, and next. Next, please welcome Rhonda Scherer.
Thank you. It is indeed my honor to thank personally Chloe Pagas, uh, Mr. Jan Schrem, Stephen Rogers, uh, Steve and Kimberly Cook, uh, John and Robin Dunbar. What an awesome list I have, don't I? Uh, Roger Evans, Thomas Trainer, Maria Minetti Farrow, the town of Yontville, right? And Festival del Soleil, and V Marketplace. Now, would you please welcome Kimberly Cook? Just a few more names. Rhonda and Michael Scher, Robert and Sharon Freed, Villaggio Inn and Spa, George and Caddy Grodal, The Vintage Inn, Heaven Sent Foundation, Jose Luis Nazar, Wells Fargo Bank, St. Helena and Yachtville Branches, MIQ Logistics, and Napa Electric. We thank you all very much. We're getting close to the end. I just would like to uh, once again thank Mary Spencer uh, for her incredible generosity and uh, Jed Novat for his uh, amazing vision and their willingness to work along with Michael Polinski to bring this here to Yountville so that we could continue to enjoy this for the rest of our lives. It's gonna be here um, and be a part of, of this community uh, and we're quite proud to have have this here um, and let's all continue to support our cultural arts both here in Yountville and throughout the valley there's an amazing energy that is being shared throughout the valley this is just another step in that right direction so please uh, enjoy the arts come and support the arts uh, any way you can um, with that we are going to enjoy some refreshments as as we all enjoy um, our new masterpiece chaos Pamplona as I said, we have the special um, Russian National Orchestra Brass Quintet that will be performing uh, while we are enjoying our reception. I'd like to also thank um, uh, the uh, Vintage Estates group for helping with the refreshments today. So thanks to them. Also, as you, as you heard, Red Mare Wines and all the other folks that have uh, contributed refreshments on this beautiful sunny day. So with that, thank you all for being here. and. Uh, Please enjoy Chaos Pamplona. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 